Hey, Kelly. Hi. So can you tell us a little bit of where we're at? We're in Manhattan. We're trying to find a pizza joint. Because when in New York, you got to have a? You got to have a pizza. What's the difference between Chicago pizza and New York pizza? Uh, New York pizza is, it's got a thinner crust, it's hand tossed. So uh, Chicago does deep dish and they do a very nice deep dish, but uh, hand tossed is where it's at. Nice. Maggie, Yo, and I still had a flashback. I heard homeboy saying, that's not the kind of town that I'm looking for. I still hear that in my ear, baby. Baby, don't know. Don't worry about that. I'm weak. I'm sorry. No. Are you recording? Yeah. You started it. I didn't say anything. <laughs> This guy right here turned into a New York driver. He was yelling and honking at people. Why would you say anything? You gotta be aggressive. If you wanna drive in New York, if you wanna drive in New York, you gotta be able to hang. If not, get from behind the wheel. Hey Rico, what's the difference between Wisconsin driving and New York driving? What's well, one big difference you just spotted? It is no comparison. <laughs> So we drive the same? Huh? We drive the same then? No. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, we are here in New York City. Uh, later on, we're still uh, taking a break. We're still going to continue our journey. You know, we're still, we're still looking for. Her. Oh, oh uh -huh. the doggy! The doggy is cute. Yeah, I mean, it's a Aww. She looks so soft. Look at me. Look like my little stuffed animal. Howdy. Nuzzle. Howdy. <laughs> See you later. Dogs love me. People love me. Anyway, I'm going to interrupt you. So we're, we're still looking for our teens. Uh, we are in New York City. We want to capture some teens down in Times Square. So, uh, we're happy about that. We're excited. And, uh, we're going to see what happens, see what New York teens have to say about teen issues, teen problems. So, you know, we're going to do what it do. So, I'm happy and I'm excited. And uh, I'm, I'm glad you guys are with me on this journey. I'm glad you guys are uh, taking this route with me because, you know. You keep walking. Most teachers are not going to like me after this. But I don't care. This is something that needs to be done. Just like here comes a boom, here comes the truth. <laughs> Let truth be heard, and uh, we'll go from there. So, excited about today, like I said, nice clear spot. Uh, the uh, weather is clear, sun is out. It's supposed to be raining, but God is on our side for today, so glad it. we'll take the sunshine over the rain. So uh, we'll be back. So. As we continue to take this journey, I wish I can go to other states, you know, but I only can do what my pockets allow me to do. So I'm uh, hoping I'll tour the world and interview everybody else. Ooh, look at all the flowers. You know, mom likes purple flowers. I know. Which one is your favorite? Yeah, like do you have a particular favorite flower? Uh, no, I prefer wildflowers. Wildflowers? Uh, Is there any here? I think there are any here. Yeah, I had to pick it something on Ooh. Nice. I wish they I wish black roses actually existed. I really do. But it's it's genetically impossible. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Thanks to a semester of biology, and we had a professor who was a plant enthusiast. He taught us everything about how you know genetics work, with breeding between humans, plants, animals, all that fun stuff. And well, that genetically impossible. Because, uh, say for example, you have like uh, say roses. Okay. There's male roses and female roses. Right. 
and if a male rose comes from like a solid like red background or so, uh -huh. it can only produce solid red flowers. Same thing go for female. Okay. So unless one has a genetic abnormality, as in at some point within the plant's genetic family or timeline or so, it was a shade of blue. It could, by a freaky rare chance, produce a purple rose. But the odds of that are slim because they don't actually exist. And it also depends on location and some sort of temperament. They, people have tried to tamper with, you know, flowers it's to get a different color. It's strange that they haven't been able to genetically alter it, so that's it. But you see, that's the thing. So black is not a natural color for any flower. And the color black wouldn't be able to do the whole photosynthesis process without dying. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So when you see a black flower, it's usually dead. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. That was uh, Flower Biology 101. Huh? Oh, alright. And we're going to take a break.